Hydroforming is a process where metal fabrication is done by shaping of ductile metals such as aluminum, brass, copper, and stainless steel. The process is cost effective due to the type of dye molding used by creating a highly pressurized fluid to form the metal. Hydroforming was created to replace the process of stamping two parts and then welding them together. It has shown that hydroforming is more efficient by being able to produce complex shapes and contours. This saves time by eliminating secondary process such as welding. Hydroforming also reduces the amount of waste compared to the traditional form of stamping. There are two major types of hydroforming, tubular hydroforming and sheet metal hydroforming. For sheet metal hydroforming, the rubber diaphragm is filled with fluid ranging from 5,000 to 10,000 psi. The punch then moves upward into the blank to form the workpiece. After forming is complete, the workpiece is removed. For tubular forming, a tube is placed into the die. Sealing punches are used to seal off the tubes at the ends as fluid begins to pressurize the system. As the pressure increases, the tube takes the shape of the die. After forming is complete, the tube is removed. Tubular forming can be broken into two subset categories, low-pressure hydroforming and high-pressure hydroforming. Low-pressure hydroforming is anything less than 12,000 psi, whereas high-pressure hydroforming ranges from 20,000 psi to 100,000 psi. Hydroforming allows the operator to make more special shapes than other conventional processes. Because there is less metal-to-metal -metal contact, hydroform parts see less scratching and waste, as well as tighter tolerances. Hydroform parts have higher strength and stiffness and weigh less. Volvo Car Corporation tested hydroforming when making aluminum-based frames. What they noted is that these frames have tighter tolerances, about 50% less weight, and 45% less weld seams than frames that were manufactured through their conventional practices. The process limitations for hydroforming are poor cycle times of the parts created and the requirement of expensive equipment for the process. Currently, the process is limited to certain types of materials like steel, stainless steel, aluminum alloys, and copper tubes. The metals used will also have a deformation limit. This process also requires new welding techniques to create complex shapes that have to be taken into account when designing parts.